Thomas, you're gonna draw an ice castle. Yeah, we hope you're gonna follow along because art is always better with... Friends. Friends like you. You need your drawing supplies. We're gonna use markers to draw with. You also need some... Paper and something to color with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. Because we're using markers to draw and color with, we're also using marker paper. This helps it to protect our table and also makes our markers last longer. So I love using marker paper. Okay, let's start by drawing a horizontal line for the bottom of our castle or the ground. We're gonna draw a line that comes across our paper like this, over to the other side. And I'm not going all the way to the edge, but you could go pretty close so that our castle is really big. The front of our castle, let's add a ice fountain. We're gonna draw a little rectangle shape in the middle of our paper, or in the middle of the ground. And you really could use your imagination and creativity to change your drawing any way you want. You could add different details or different shapes. I'm gonna draw maybe a shape that looks like this, where the sides are tipped in a little more. Mm -hmm. Then up here, I'm gonna draw bumpy lines like this across. This is the frozen water that kind of looks like an umbrella shape. Then we're gonna draw this part coming up like this, around, and then down. And then right here, let's draw two curves, one going this way and one going the other way. It's really small because we want it, our castle to be even bigger. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's draw the walls on the side. So we're gonna draw a line that comes up here and a line that comes up here, one on each side. Nice. Now at the top, let's draw a bumpy line coming out to the side. There you go. And this could be snow on top of the wall that's in front of our castle. I'm gonna draw a bumpy line on this side too. And let's go ahead and connect it down to the ground. We can do that on this side over here. Let's add the snow at the very top. I'm gonna to draw lines that look like this. So they kind of look like melting ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do the same thing over here too. And these don't have to look exactly like mine. You can change them any way you want. Yeah, I love that, Hadley. Nice. Now let's draw the front of our castle. We could add a door. I'm gonna draw, or it could just be really open. Let's just draw an arch. We're gonna draw a curve that comes up, over, and then down. Yeah, now let's draw a shape that comes up like this. We're gonna draw the left side and the right side. Then let's do the same thing. Let's draw a bumpy line connecting those two together. It's an ice castle, but it has snow on the top of it. Yeah. Let's draw these same lines right here. I'm gonna draw, it kinda looks like this, over to the other side. It's looking so cool. Then let's do the same thing. Let's draw another shape right here and down. And oh, I forgot to add the bumpy lines. Let's add bumpy lines at the top <laughs> and then a straight line down. And that's okay, this one just looks straighter. The snow on this side is straight. <laughs> <laughs> it's just flat. Yeah, flat. <laughs> then we're gonna add those snow lines on the top. Oh, it almost looks like frosting on a cake. Yeah. Okay, let's add another shape. Let's do one that comes up, over, oh, this one on the top. Let's make it bumpy, and then we'll come straight down. So same thing over here. We're just repeating the same shapes on the other side, and then straight down. Yeah, and then we can add those snow lines on the top. Now over here, let's draw a shape that comes out this way and then up higher. And then we can add bumpy lines like this and then come down. So it kind of looks like a square shape coming out of this longer shape. Then we can do the same thing over here. We'll draw the line coming out to the edge, up to the same place over here, bumpy line on the top and then down. 
then let's connect that shape down to the wall at the very bottom. Oh, and the snow. We gotta add the snow lines up at the top also. Oh yeah. Now let's add a bumpy line all the way across those two shapes. And then we can draw this snow line right here too. Oh, and maybe it connects to the middle part. And then let's draw a big spire in the middle. So I'm gonna draw, let's draw a kind of a castle shape right here in the middle, but higher. Kind of like what we did over here. And then we can draw a bumpy line on top for the snow and then the melting snow on the side. And then let's connect these down to that layer. Let's add an icicle shape on top of this shape. Oh, let's do it over here too. We'll add more icicles, upside down Vs on each side. And then I think we should add one more of these shapes right here in the middle. So let's do another square without the top. And we could do that same square over here on this side. And then let's draw the wavy line on top and then also on the side. And I'm going fast just because we're repeating all of the same steps. So if you need extra time, remember you can always- Pause the video. Yeah. All right, let's connect these shapes down to our castle. And then let's add that icicle shape on top of each of those layers. Let's add a few more details for the open door area. Let's first draw right here. We're gonna imagine this line going all the way through our fountain and out the other side. These should be, these could be the stairs. Let's add two more of those lines going down. So I'm gonna add one there and then another one lower. There's our stairs to the entrance of our ice castle. <laughs> and then we could add, let's add a few more arches inside. So I'm gonna add one that's smaller inside and then one more like this. Almost looks like a rainbow. <laughs> we did it, Hadley. We finished drawing our ice castle. It looks super cool, except we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yeah, this part will fast forward, but before we do that, let's pick out our colors. We're using our Art for Kids hub markers. If you have the same set, the three colors that we're using, 182 is our light blue, 66 is our medium blue, and 74 is our dark blue. Yeah, but that's okay if you don't have the same set. You could use other markers, or you could use colored pencils, crayons, or even oil pastels. All right, you ready to start? Yeah. First, we're gonna use 182, our light blue, and we're gonna color in our entire castle, except for the white snow on top of our castle. Now this part, we are gonna fast forward, so remember to pause the video and take time to color your drawings. You ready to speed it up? Yes. Also added a little blue line at the bottom of each snow layer and also a little bit of the blue at the bottom of each icicle. Now we're switching to 66 or our medium blue. And we're gonna add a little more shading and also I'm gonna color in this doorway or the archway. With this medium blue, we added a shadow underneath the snow layer. This makes the snow look more 3D, like it's really sitting on top of the castle. Yeah. Now we're ready to switch to our darker blue, number 74. This we're using to color in the entrance to our castle. This makes it look even more 3D, like you could really just walk inside of your castle. Mm -hmm. Hadley, we did it! We finished drawing and coloring our ice castles, and they turned out perfect. Yeah, they look so much better colored in. I think so too, and I hope our art friends will color their drawings also. You can color it just like us, or you can change the colors and color any way you want. You could also add stuff down here in the foreground and even color in the sky. What could they put in the front? A snowman. Oh yes, a <laughs> snowman, or even maybe a skating rink. Yeah, and you could put reindeer, I think, oh, too. Oh, <laughs> reindeer would be perfect. 
We hope you had a lot of fun drawing an ice castle. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we hope you take extra time to color your drawings and add even more things. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Goodbye.